What? This is going to be in the video. Why? <laughs> what do you want me to do in the background? <laughs> August 15th, 1969. The first day of Woodstock. August 15th, 1965, the Beatles play to a crowd of 60,000 people at Shea Stadium in New York City, a concert that was deemed to be the birthplace of stadium rock. August 15th, 1939, The Wizard of Oz premieres at the Grauman's Chinese Theater in Los Angeles. But none of those things concern us. What concerns us today, August 15th, Indian National Independence Day. Rock on! <laughs> Sorry, just stand this, stand this so we could just get focus. On the Okay, we're in focus. Let's just see how long we can make this last for. <laughs> August 15th, 1947. The UK passed the Indian Independence Act, transferring legislative authority from the United Kingdom to the Indian government, thus birthing the country known as India. How beautiful is that? Anyhow, to celebrate, we're doing another cooking video, but it's not pizza, because pizza would be too easy. Do we have saffron? We have saffron, right? We don't have saffron? You know how expensive saffron is? How expensive is saffron, people? Oh, what's this right here? Oh, we don't have saffron? Well, what's this? Sure, it's pronounced and spelled tajin, but it's orange like saffron, so we might use this. Okay, so the ingredients for the Indian flag dinner dish that the kids are actually gonna eat. Is this salmon or trout? Filet de truite arc-en-ciel. It comes from product of Canada. Interesting, it says congelé, frozen, which we discussed in a previous video about sushi, that freshwater fish should be frozen in order to kill the parasites in it. We're gonna use salmon. We're gonna cook the salmon. That's gonna be the orange part of the flag. The national flag of India is a horizontal. The national. <laughs> the national flag of India is a horizontal rectangular tricolor of India saffron white and India green. Well, then you have to have saffron in it. If it's are we gonna the color, Are we gonna go up and get saffron? Yeah. I think you need to get saffron. All right, some other interesting facts about the Indian flag. By law, it ought to be spun from khadi, a special type of hand-spun silk made popular by Mahatma Gandhi. Usage of the flag is governed by the flag code of India. Very interesting. Look at those clouds. Am I gonna get hit by a car? Look at these clouds over the city of Montreal. Excuse me, do you have saffron? How sure are you? 80%. Who would I ask to be 100%? 100%? Ask at the front desk. Okay. They'll probably be able to tell you. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> 18 bucks for four tiny vials of saffron. It's worth it. It's worth it. All right, I just looked up saffron, and this is fascinating. At $18.59 for 0.8 of one gram, that's $23.5 per gram. I think that comes to something like $10,000 a pound for saffron. Apparently saffron itself are the stigmas of crocuses, like the little things inside the plant, and you get three stigmas per crocus. So it takes like an acre of land to produce enough threads to produce a pound of saffron. So just imagine that. It's a plant that has three little stigmas in it. Ah. I got it. It has, th don't drop that. It has three little stigmas per plant. To get saffron, they need to pick those three little stigmas that become the threads of saffron and to produce a little vial, they need Daddy, however many hundreds Daddy, of plants. Daddy, Yo. Ooh, very nice. This is 0.8 of one gram, not even one gram. How much do you think it costs? Big jar, twenty dollars. It's eighteen dollars and fifty cents. It's ten thousand dollars a pound at that price. <laughs> Guys. We gotta wash the potatoes first. First thing I'm gonna do is peel the potatoes, but not for flavor, but because the potato is going to be the white part of the flag and the skin is going to make it a little less white. And I don't want the white part of the Indian flag to be speckled because that is not what the Indian flag looks like. This potato looks a little brown. Ugh. 
Oh my goodness! Well, we're not using that. We're only using the finest ingredient. I've never seen a potato quite so disgusting. Oh my... Well, that's disgusting. We're not cooking with that. Hope the other ones don't look like that. That is a rotten potato. All right, and because we're not just going for show with this, we're actually going for flavor. Put a little salt in the potatoes. Rainbow trout, for those who have never seen it, very pink, very orangish. Smells very good, it smells very fresh. So we're gonna put a little salad dressing on this. Pepper on the bottom, a little salt underneath, and we're going to put the skin down like that, beautiful. Put a little salad dressing for some flavor. We're gonna bake the fish before we actually put the potatoes and the green section of the flag in. I forgot almost the most important thing, the saffron. This is a vial of saffron, look at this. These little threads. You get three of these threads per saffron plant. Let's see what this smells like. This is one, can we even see this? This is one strand of saffron. That is very difficult to describe as a flavor. Okay, and because this is so obscenely expensive uh, and I don't know how to cook with it, what we're just gonna do is I'm calling this a symbolic saffron for the saffron color of the flag. We're gonna put a little oil in here. Beautiful. I'm gonna mush it around with my fingers and then I'm gonna paint the salmon with it. Those are the specks of saffron right there. It's probably two dollars worth of saffron. It's better. This centerpiece is obviously the hardest and most detailed part. That saffron actually has a very distinct uh, aromatic, aromatic aroma to it. Actually quite impressive. Now. And now for the pièce de la résistance. I dare say I nailed it. I nailed it. Call wonderful wife. Thanks. You can come in now and behold the creation. Behold the creation. Can we eat it? Oh yes, we can eat it. All right, we'll be in soon. Okay. Stop shaking the table. This is the Indian flag. Okay, okay. I know it. I Everyone know close it. your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes, people. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's a blue circle for sure. Just tell hey. me I'm not even yet closer. Yeah. Eggplant? Don't, nobody uh, needs to eat. Egg parts. Yeah. Steak. Uh, steak. There's potatoes. no steak there. Oh, that's mashed potatoes. Is that egg or mashed potatoes? That's mashed potatoes. Dude. Oh, I'm eating that whole thing. <laughs> okay, Except no, for the blue part. Nobody has to eat the blue part because that is an uncooked zucchini with blue dye number five in it. Wow. These little threads of saffron right here, five dollars. So eat it sparingly. Um, 
and Daddy, you know that little container you used to pour these? Where is it? Oh, don't worry, I hit it. So that nobody makes a potion with it. So, guys, um... <laughs> he's hungry, he's hungry. You, oh, you want some? Okay, get this kid some food! Can get this it? girl a spoon! Okay, me the taste mashed potatoes. Water. Are they good? Wait. Yes. Put salt. I don't put salt on everything so that you can add salt later. You can never take salt away. These blue yeah. hands. How yeah. did you get so much blue from that little tiny I'm thing? going into a business meeting tomorrow with the hands of a blue man of madness. Dude, it's going to make your hands all blue and you can't eat it. Why it's not cooked? It'll make you look blue. Look, it's blue. The blue, the marine blue uh, wheel in the middle is purely ornamental. Um, children, do we say that this is a smashing success, possibly my best work ever, and it's will change? It's a mashed success. Hold on a second. Smash. Son smashing. of a gun. Son of a gun, she's good. Move it up the <laughs> Well, I was going to say that this is going to change the course of humankind, but that's a good way to end the video. Watch out, they're both. Happy Independence Day, India. Booyah. Peace out.